right, guys, here we go into our mailbag this week. It says, hey, Doc, I keep getting seboric dermatitis. That sounds oh. yummy. It's like a Harry Potter spell. Seboric dermatitis. Okay. I've tried everything, and it keeps coming back. Have you ever treated this with anybody, and can you suggest what to do? The answer is yes and yes. I like yes. It's a good word. Yes and yes. Now, here's the trick to it. Any kind of dermatitis, and they'll change it. Sometimes they'll call it a keratosis. Sometimes they'll call it an eczema. All right? They're all kind of similar in how they present and what they do. When you see skin conditions, immediately, immediately think about the diet, how the body's trying to eliminate waste, and what's going on in the mind. You seldom will ever see a skin condition that if you heal the mind, it doesn't improve ever. So all you have to do is step back and say, man, what is going on in my life? What's happening in my life? Is there something crazy happening? Something I'm out of control of? Is it something that I just can't stop, but I can't seem to get away from it? Just recognizing it many, many times can have a profound effect. Now, nutrition wise, what can you do? Yeast. Always watch for the yeast. Right? Yeast tends to feed the very condition you're trying to get rid of here. The body's always got yeast. You have a microbiome, right? It's that inside environment. It's all your flora. Well, you got it on the outside too. The skin on the outside has its own little microbiome. So you got to keep it balanced. So when you're looking at a condition like this, what we found over the years is that if you eat a lot of sugar, drink a lot of alcohol, things like that, man, the skin's going to show it. So back that stuff down. Back off the grains, the breads, the cereals, the sugars, the cookies, the alcohols. Stay out of those things a little bit and see if the skin doesn't start to improve a little. As you pull those out and you hunt for that little emotional component, then all you got to do is nourish the skin. There's a lot of things out there that work well. Coconut oil has been shown to be incredibly effective at healing up that skin. It's antibacterial, it's antifungal. Manuka honey has been shown to be incredibly effective at healing up that skin. Question. Yes. Manuka, how different is that from regular honey? It's just where it comes from. Just where it That's comes really from. what it is. And so it's more where it comes from than anything. But what's interesting about it is this, this, this honey that they use, and I think it comes out of New Zealand predominantly. The honey they use, honey in general is antiviral, anti antibacterial, and antifungal. That's just honey in nature. The Egyptians for thousands of years used it on wounds, ulcers, cuts, all kinds of stuff to keep it sterile and clean because it'll do that. So it has these great properties and then it seals things. So if you wanted to try this, say you had this seborrheic dermatitis, right? You got this eczema type thing. Just get a little patch of it, put the honey on it maybe when you go to bed at night. Just put a little thing on there, cover it up a little bit with a little bit of honey, rub it into it, go to bed. Forget about it till the morning. Do it every day for two, three weeks. If you notice that patch starts to go away and starts to heal, Merry Christmas, you got it. Starve the yeast out from the inside, support your immune system, calm down that mind, and it turns around every time. They're not hard to deal with. It's fairly easy. You just gotta know what to do.